better time than the present. No better time. So it's about 5.30 a.m., 5.30 a.m. You'll probably hear those birds chirping. Sounded like a car alarm to me, but wanted to speak to you all about <clears throat> just gotta make sure the irrigation is there. Breathe. <laughs> Wanted to speak to you all about new happenings credit wise. It's like same journey. Y'all can see I'm tired. Can see I'm tired. No, I wasn't flipping you off. That was this finger and that finger. But I will be getting more rest. I just want to get this video clear. Been working really hard lately. And just had a refreshing shower here, hotel. And shout out to the Black Tea, Walmart Haynes. Shout out, looking real fresh from the call you can see. So, guys, part of what I'm sharing when I share credit related videos, I'm sharing my raw truth, my raw progress, and I do my best to process it for a while. You know how people say they chew on it for a while, meditate on it for a while, incubate it for a while. I've been wanting to say it for a few days. What happened was this experience, Northwest Florida, and prior to that, this courageous journey I've been on, prior to that, Northeast Florida and coastal Georgia, coastal Carolina, I saw some things, even though we're looking at recessionary times and markets are usually the people. People are usually affected by fear or greed. We see a lot of fear. The news is pumping a lot of fear. And I saw money exchanging in these, in these different communities and just being away from a set point. When people say comfort zone, someone might give you that tough love, challenge you and say, oh, you comfortable. In your comfort zone. If you know me, if you know me for a significant amount of time, high school, high school football, college, graduate school, my early employee working days, promotional, paid promotional modeling days, and even my gig economy work, you know I'm not a complacent person. I'm not all for comfort. Yes, I am a family person, a person for family and friends and quality time. Believe it or not, yes, I work a lot. I'm setting myself up for the time that I'll have free time. And that's part of the word purpose. People like to clown people on purpose and make fun. But I'm intentional. There's some things that I'm intentionally investing my efforts into bettering myself so that when my life hits its next chapter, such as wife, children, and the things that go with that, you know, because I have brothers and sisters, because I have people growing up alongside me. It's like Keith Moore says, grace is in places. Like there, there'll be more chapters. But I want to be a more solid individual when I'm spending that quality time. I'm about doggone tired, about doggone tired of the phone ringing all the time and the voicemails, and that just canceling me being able to free flow with my phone and interrupting quality time with people that need my time and attention. So that's why credit is important to me, and why I'm going in so much on a disclaimer. You wouldn't believe the people my same age from my environment, my home zip code, my home county, my home area. They call it worrying. When you're, when you're listening to audio material about bettering your credit, learning about credit, about investing, about real estate, I kid you not, you get mocked for it. But I'm never one to cower. I'm like, whatever, go on. I may not be the cool kid. It's all about the cool kid. It's all about being the cool kid, about being acceptable about blending in and fitting in with most people, but I'm not most people. So people just know it. I'm just out front. You'll see my Instagram feed. You'll see my Facebook feed and I have resources like that. I'm not trying to show you I'm smart. I'm not trying to flex. I'm trying to share. 
and sometimes I'll go back and click my own stuff because it's it's a wall, it's a feed, it's a it's a sketch pad, it's a an outline. It's like that, you know. That's why it's called a timeline. So also it's networking with people, sharing with people. They see that you have an interest, they know that their stuff is valuable, making an impression, making an imprint, impacting people. So I'll just give you a raw scenario. The attack, the adjust, the attack, the challenge to a person that's like me, who may spend their Monday morning listening to motivation that matters. It may be their favorite pastors, their local church. It may be a business or a real estate mentor. I share those kind of things and Monday's a big day. If you ever notice, if you were, if you wanted to change your life, change your mindset, learn some skills, learn what to do. How? To, what do the successful do? What do the What do the wealthy do? Trust me. Follow some of the stuff I share on Monday. You know, I produce things on Monday, but I'm saying the greater Monday morning production, like Inky Johnson, like Terry Savelle Ford, like Steve Harvey. Like Patrick Bet David, like Grant Cardone, like Eric Thomas, like Andy Enriquez. I'm trying to think any more Monday morning heavy hitters. Ed Milet, heavy hitters now. People like that. It's not rah rah. Trust me, they give me some steps, some action steps. It could be about networking, you know. Like contacts, like Grant Cardone says, contacts equal contracts. It could be about bettering your credit. It could be about what's going on in real estate. It could be how to invest in real estate. It could be look at the fruits of all these decades of labor. It's time to step up. This video is for who it's for. It's for who it's called for. And it's raw. I ain't got no script. So the attack on me may be like, I'm single. <laughs> So you may have you have may have a young man your same age like, oh man you too serious oh man a girl don't want to hear nothing about no credit she want to hear nothing about you worry about no credit she want to go down to the beach and have a beer. Now you got to think about it. Now this person dominant, they dominant in their opposition to you. None of that none of that matters to me when it comes to the open pursuit. Let's say the concurrent pursuit of love. I want someone else for me. And I don't really drink. So that person's opposition, they right in their mind. They right. The world moved that way. But me, I'm on a different path. I'm not perfect. I'm not condemning you if you partake of a little alcohol. What I'm saying is, that's not who I'm looking for. Fitness is important to me. Wellness is important to me. Credit, when I say it's important to me, just the knowledge and the power of it. I'm not going to judge anybody on their credit. Trust me. That could change in a week or two. Real estate is important to me. It's something that I realize is a, an empowerment. It could be a part of wealth, generational wealth. So I think building. I think building me. I think of being a good, solid, independent single as a good as a good relationship coach or a relationship therapist or a relationship counselor, ministerial, premarital counselor, ministerial, marital counselor, you would want two independents coming together to be interdependent. And it's not all about the money. It's not all about the money at all. Never for the gold dig. Never. Nothing like that. It's one of those things you want to be solid. I'm one of those who is willing to wait for what they deserve in life, willing to delay gratification, and I'm willing to stand 10 toes down to fight in the midst of the mess to get what I need. And that's why at times it's better that I'm single until the right thing manifests. So the right thing manifests. Now right there, somebody may throw this jab. Person may say, how you, how you getting all these other voices to contribute as examples? You may say, I get attacked. Not verbal, not physically, but people don't like me. 
<laughs> not everyone, but there's people that don't like me because I don't want to do it the way we've always done it. I don't want to. Person may say, oh, he think he got all the time in the world. He 33 years old. I'm actually 34. 33 years old. Ain't got no wife. Ain't got no kids. They think he got all the time in the world. Hey, you ever heard this word grace? <laughs> you ever heard this word grace? Like I tell you, Keith Moore, grace is in places. Grace is in places. God will sustain me. And I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing the right thing before God. When I'm to myself, and y'all see I'm to myself a lot. You see the videos record. I'm by myself. I know how to spend time alone. And I've had many rich, valuable experiences in life. I'm not I'm not antisocial. I'm actually an extrovert. I have some shyness, but I'm an extrovert. But I'm not foolish, so I don't vibe with a lot of people because I want to be a maximum success. I want to be an example. I've been wanting to be that. People have called me for it to be that ever since I was a single digit age person, even before I was 34 years old. You feel me? And if anybody get their toes stepped on, if they ever see this video, you're wrong for how you talked about me. You're wrong for how you throw jabs and pick at me. I still love you and I forgive you. But I got a harvest because someone may know, well, what's taking him so long? Why does he look so tired? Well, he seems to be a good guy, a good catch. What's taking him so long? I got a lot of stag I got a lot of static stagnation working against me. I need more supporters in my life. That's why new friends are okay with me. And I'm so thankful for the valuable old friends. So valuable. I'm so thankful for them. The ones that really mean well by me. I appreciate you so if you ever see this video. And I want to talk to you about just what, uh, an update in my credit history because it affects what I can and cannot do. It affects the level of enjoyment, the level of experience, the level of free time, the level of free cash flow to invest to work on my individual wealth, which is at the heart to be joined to my future wife and children and grandchildren and their children and grandchildren, as long as the Lord Jesus is Terry. The term I had to learn, I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> but it's all good. Those who know, know. But I want you guys to know there's a way out. And I am a faith-based person. I, I won't I won't tell you that this mouth I won't I won't lie to you this mouth need work you know for a long time it's been mine you know the soul the mind the will emotions and it will always be until I cease to be however that may be by rapture or by death you can always work on that your mind your will your emotion but the mouth I'll be honest. There's some things I say that I'm still working on. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's that's part of some things that, and I've been better at it before, and I believe it'll come with bettering some situations. That's why I am one of those who's talking about such a practical topic, because this is what offends a lot of bright, young, especially amongst the black people, Christians that don't have their feet on the ground, they not they not concurrently trying to win in life. They're not trying to win in mental health. They're not trying to win in getting along with their family, their husband, their wife, their children. They're not trying. It's all about going to church. It's all about clapping to them songs. It's all about wearing the right thing. It's all about all the don'ts. No, that's not Christianity. That's religion. That's the, that's one of the ways we've always done it. So I, I'll just tell you, break through and the getting through 
And it's one of those things I had to reach back in my bag. Like I say, I got to go in my bag. I had to reach back in my bag and get back with self. Selflender.com. And yes, it is a plug because it, it is an advertisement. I'm trying to help you. You can rescue that credit situation of yours. And it's going to take time. Days, weeks, months. But days, weeks, months is pretty fast compared to the way, one of the ways we've always done it. So with self, I had this experience before. So I'm, I'm back with a 500 something dollar self loan. Again, and what they do for you is you pay a processing fee. That processing fee was $5. I did it a few days ago. That's all you need. Link, it, link one of your bank accounts. If you have one bank, that's great. I've had multiple banks before. I got one bank that I'm dominantly using, one community bank back home. You know, if I could keep up with it, then it's been challenging. But I've been saying but a lot. There's some nerves in this video. I'm tired. Remember, that's two fingers. <laughs> but I got to get this video out to the world. I've been needing to do it for ever since Saturday night because if I opened that self lender account and I had, before I made the decision to, I was kind of cornered in. I realized just the cost of a major thing like transportation. I realized I want to change my financial record so I can better how I'm doing this. You know, paying for a car, insuring a car maintaining a car all of that i wanted to open them credit lines like i've seen before because this is what happens that self lender account is 500 some dollars right 500 and some dollars you put up five that's that's of this moment in 2021 as a processing fee then the level i chose is 25 dollars a month and I can commit to that $25 a month because money exchanges through my hands. And I'm going to trust the process in my life. This show will go on. But I noticed something. You know, I get all these updates from my banks and credit monitoring, Capital One, Credit Karma, Chase, all of them, right? Discovery. So I got an update in email. That was my lower net clicking and popping have to gotta move thank god it's moving i got this update that discover reopened my credit card and i had something drastic happen because that's a secure credit card meaning that's all my money not all that i have but i started with five or six hundred dollars built it up to two thousand because discover allows you to increase your own credit line which is good increasing the credit line is good because your credit usage could potentially be lower if you're not using much and that threshold is good and people monitor and judge that that's kind of your level in the credit language so it's painful to lose two thousand dollars i was at the point where i had literally lost two thousand dollars and was in pre-collection so what happens from there i don't know they reopen it because like i've been telling y'all i tell y'all concurrently i got back for the past month or two i got back with my online bill pay with chase bank and I have the links in the description of the video for the financial opportunities I want you to take advantage of. Legitimate opportunities. These things you do every day. Bank, credit, borrow, lend, all of that. Every day. People don't like to talk about it. They actually do it. You're processing it in the first world. That's what we're doing. First world. And I have been making these small payments. And they matter. I'll do it like this at different accounts, you know, credit card, car, some kind of collection, student loans. I have the account and they help you. It's real easy. All you got to do is tell them the company, the organization, put the account number on there. You can nickname it so you know what it is. Then I'll send out payments, sometimes as little as a dollar, sometimes as much as 10, 15 or 20 dollars. And I try to daily. That's part of my conservation. My conservation ain't to look at it. Part of my conservation is to correct the situation that I stepped into adulthood on. I wasn't a trust fund child. I don't, I don't come from a trust fund. I didn't have prepaid college, and I borrowed for college. So, and I, I didn't have an inheritance from anyone. And it's just my raw truth. So a person 
would play with me. Like I say, play with me. And say, oh, you're a victim. You're making excuses. None such. None such. I don't have any. I work too hard. And only the people that know me realize, hey, that's my truth. I can only do what I can do. So I have to steadily scrap. As some people say, bootstrap. I have to. And I endeavor to share with people. People may think I'm bragging. They may say, oh, you tell all your business. Not really. I just seek to be effective, to help someone else. You know, to help someone else. But, as y'all can see, I do come from some hurt. People play crazy mind games with me. But it's not that I let them win. I won't let them win, and it hurts people that I won't let them win. Because where I come from, you're supposed to let people win. Everybody's right. If they're older than you, they're right. If they got this dream retirement plan, they're right. And I don't have anything else against retirement. Guess what? There's this thing, if you read the Rich Dad literature, it's called a RISA. It happened in the 70s. Retirement ain't what it was, y'all. It went from defined benefit to defined contribution. So whether you're going to be an ESBI, like that crash flow college quadrant, and we should all try to operate in all that, most any successful, you know, business person, real estate person, I tell you, operate that way. Operate that way. Don't just go about it one way. Just, just dominate in life. You get one shot. So it's like, make sure I don't lose my train of thought there. Yeah. But there are examples of people that make it out, make it out of that mindset, that community. And it's not just one place. It's a lot of places operate like that. And you can have multiple streams of income, legitimate ones, legitimate ones. And when it comes to retirement, it's not that I'm making light of it. It's not that I'm being immature. If I've already put in five years at a state level experience of work, the work is what matters. And I see at that time that greater experiences, thank God I've had them. And at any time I can go back and get such a position, I can a person can't sell to me that that's the thing to do in my life just on hopes of retirement. I want to be wealthy now and then. Now and then. So if it comes to jobs, it's more about purpose. It's more about serving. Of course, I'm going to get that check. Hopefully, I do get compensated better than I was getting compensated. But the creativity, business, entrepreneurship, investing, that's always going to be there with me. Most people aren't that courageous. Courageous. That's where the attacks come. It look childish. It look crazy. But I know what I'm doing, and I will always seek leadership, guidance, and examples on keep knowing what I'm doing. There's so many people that do what I do. I know I probably sound like an apologetic, but it's the things I have to work through. It's the gym of the mind. The gym of the mind. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm secure and confident in me, but man, I give psychologically and mentally whooped by people that just, just don't know better. They don't know better. They don't know better. And I have to be as respectful as I can to maneuver around certain conversations. Some people may think I'm being funny, smart at them, being immature, not thinking about my future. I'm always thinking about my future. I understand investments. So about that Ariza thing that happened in the 70s, that world of retirement, well, they say, oh, they gave somebody a Rolex or they have a Timex. So they give them a, a turkey and a retirement party. That was the defined benefit era. We're in the defined contribution era. So all those jobs I told you I had, what they would do is they would take a percentage of my gross pay, put it in a retirement account, retirement form, you know, a form like a 403B or a 401K. They would do it that way. And also, I want y'all to know that I'm about that life. I would also take the annuity, the 457. I wouldn't roll in that stuff. I know. I care. But right now, I'm doing something else. Shall a great job come? I'm with it. But I cannot stop the entrepreneurship and the, and the investing. I can't. It's just me. I can't. I'm not delusional. I'm not crazy. It's just I can't. It's in me. And that's why it's better... That I'm single until I meet my match. 
And it's not like, till I meet my man. No. Someone who loves me. Someone I'm attracted to. Someone who attracted me that I love. That love me. It's that simple. People get it all out of range with all this other checklist and stuff. You gotta do it for you. You can't really please nobody with your mate. You do it for you. You understand know what I'm saying? And it's to free somebody. You're talking to the main here. So whether that's white, black, red, yellow, brown, red, blonde, black, brunette, freckles, short, tall, thick, thin, fit, thick, slim. Do you, baby. Do you. You got my permission to co-sign. But I want you. I want you to consider it in a godly way. Have a relationship that honors you, that honors them, that honors God. Have that God, you, them. You feel me? Just do that. Just do that. We're complicating stuff and people are really out here frustrated and miserable because they're trying to please other people. So take that key from me. People out here trying to please other people. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like I say, that's why I get disrespected crazy. People talk about me crazy. I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to keep seeking to know what I'm doing. Not out of arrogance or pride. When you just realize people aren't winning with the same prescription someone's trying to give you, they're not winning. They're not rich. They're not wealthy. They don't have a happy marriage. Some of them don't have a relationship. They're trying to tell you what to do. <laughs> Some of them, they're not eating good. Some of them, they're not traveling. But a person will tell me, cut all that out. Go do what I told you so you can retire one day. Come on, man. Not for me. Not for me. So I needed, I needed you to hear all sides of that right there. So like I said, that self-lender account probably piqued the interest. And I'm with the credit people as well. So this is the attack. I got the credit people. They're basically my audit. They're challenging late payments. They're challenging missed payments. They're getting the accurate reporting of stuff that I loan paid three months ago, six months ago, nine months ago, 12 months ago, 18 months ago, 24 months ago, 48 months ago, 60 months ago, 72 months ago. Some stuff, you'd be surprised at stuff that the credit, the three bureaus and the FICO itself, Fair Isaacs, Credit, da da da. <laughs> You'd be surprised at stuff that you gave your earnest money, your hard money to, that they never reported as paid. That's why you need a credit repair company. And it is legal. It's right. It's proper. It's legal. So I have the credit people. I got all that in the body of this video. They fight for me. And they probably helped to get that discover open, reopen. Because I've been paying with my online bill pay, the little chunks, no matter if it's a dollar. I try this every day or two dollars or like I say up to ten or twenty or whatever. Now mind you, this cross couple accounts. I'm trying. I do the best I can. So in my waiting, in my singlehood, best believe I'm out here kicking tail. It may look a little scruff, may look a little shabby, but I'm here, y'all. I'm here. You know, and that's not to beg for anybody to approve me. I'm just communicating because there's probably a million of me out here. 10 million of me out here going through things. People are beating their head up. Want them to do what they want them to do. You don't have to do it that way. So, like I say, good credit punk company, like the credit people, a self lender account, and need be a secure credit card. So, about that Discover thing, they're more focused on where I got hemmed up. It was about two or $300, and I'll get that back together. But hopefully I get back to that $2,000. I don't want to lose all that I put up. I put that up. But it's all good. As long as I'm back in the game. I didn't take a lot of losses before. I don't, I don't lost thousands of dollars. Just paying stuff up, paying stuff off. I'm out here for real. That's what it calls skin in the game. And I'd rather face some of these battles single because I want my wife to experience marital bliss. I'm single right now. I'm not even engaged. I'm just saying. Person wonder what's taking me so long. I can't have nobody out here. To... I'm not shaming nobody. I don't want nobody shaming or embarrassed. I want them to have the best life. You know, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, the best life. Of course, there's level to this. Can't wait forever, but I want to make sure there's a consistent flow of income. 
consistent flow of opportunity, some reserve, all of that. But things will happen when they happen. Just speaking from the heart. Speaking from the heart. Make sure I'm being consistent and fluent in what I'm telling you to. Like getting you to the point so that you're learning. Because I'm giving you a lot of me, but I'm just trying to tell you some steps. So, um, what happened the, the first time? That was, this is my second time with self learning. What happened the first time was that when I paid it off, it was a gradual payoff. My credit score went up a crazy amount, like 100, 180 points, like a crazy amount. I'm like, man, you know? You got to say in the credit world, it go from 3 to 850. And I've been really in that 5 and 6 for a long time in my life. But when I was in college, I didn't know what a credit score really was to the end. Found out I had a 720. That was good. It lasted for a while. But like this recession, I graduated right into a recession. So I didn't get a job to keep myself together until it was March. Just red lobster. Busting tables. After having good college jobs. Southern Miss ticket office. I was a resident assistant. I had a little restaurant experience back there. I had money. College money. College boy money. But, hey, I'm still standing, y'all. Over a decade later. Y'all seen me maneuver. Education. Work history. Local government work history. All the forms of self-employment you see me do. Just... Somebody getting it out the mud, a bootstrapper, a scrappy person. No slacker whatsoever in me. Like right now, I should either be asleep or out there on those early roadie gigs. But I'm going to communicate this to the world, get the sleep I can, get back to all this other stuff I do. Roadie, Postmates, Instacart, the money's out there. But I got to take care of my health, my brain health, my heart health, my respiratory health. Just need it. Just rest, you know. All the systems. Your body has systems. Your your, your urogenital system. Sometimes that's what's wrong with us. It's called peristalsis. Y'all see that water back there? That's eternal water, if you can see it. On the table. I took a little sip before I came out here, because you know I'm kind of dry, but... I take care of this body. It's circulation. Your limbs need it. You gotta, gotta get some kind of restart, even if you're only getting three hours, one, two, three, four hours. You gotta do something, you know? But it's challenging out here in real life, guys. And there is no easy road. People look at me and try to feel sorry. Oh, it'd be easy if you do this. It'd be cheap if you do this. And I'm trying to stand up with this person like, I've already done that. I didn't have any money, and the same people were chasing me. I was getting the same letters and calls. I don't want easy. <laughs> I want what works. Because I've seen a lot of impact. I went on a spree of paying stuff off like crazy when I first got a hold of Uber. Then Lyft. I don't even think I was Postmates yet, but I remember just pay off of stuff like crazy. But it comes with opposition. I've had a little opposition here and there, but I'll get it back. What it teaches you is you speed up the process. So... I would love to, it's the end of March. I would love to, at the end of April, have some drastic things happen, like pay off some crazy amount of debt, get the score right, stack up a crazy amount of money, get into real estate like I want to. And like Grant Cardone said, if you're in peer-to-peer -peer lending in real estate, because you're lending to somebody that's taking those loans to do real estate. So that's my foot in it. And I'm in there, peer-to-peer -peer lending. I'm in there five figures. I'm in there. I'm a disciplined person. People may have not always chose me socially. They may not see me as mature or grown up. I'm very much grown up. I just don't have the backing a lot of people have. I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me, but I don't know how that happened. So God used me. That's why I'm out here producing videos. I got people that just don't believe in me. They can do something about it. They don't believe in me. But I, I, God bless the ones, and I love them that do believe in me. And because the world's so strange, and people try to judge the outside, people may be hung up, hung, hung up on race. I'm like, sometimes the ones for me, 
and I love them. Like, I appreciate you so much. And sometimes I don't want to cross lines because you don't know how sometimes people receive that. It's like, you one of the only ones that love me. I wish it's levels to certain things. Because there's other people, they just, they just tolerate me. It's crazy. It's crazy where your love comes from sometimes. And some people love you. Like the original cast of people you have. You know, your family and your surrounding neighborhood. The only thing they know how to do is worry. And worry is a toxic emotion. You saying you worry about me doesn't make me feel good. That's No, you're supposed to pray for me. You can care for me. You can pray for me. Worrying, what are you worrying about? Worrying is it's an opposition. That's the enemy. You're working on you. Don't worry about me. Pray about me. You care about me. You can pray about me. Don't worry about me. But a person may wonder, you know, what are you talking about? Where I come from? If a person out at night, I'm going to be honest. A person out at night, they think it's drugs, sex, alcohol. And I'm working. And I do my best, y'all. Y'all see, I make so many videos. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've had a good one though to my life. But not the same perfect person. I'm not going to tell you that never done anything but i come from an environment where people their addictions run their life they're what they call grown freedom to do any of the above things that's what they call being grown and being an adult but you don't have to worry about me because i know these things in myself but i have to paint a picture of what kind of stress that must be like that's stressful a person don't trust you and they watch you be this disciplined person I know this in me. That's why she be this disciplined person all these years. Honor student. Made it all the way through varsity football as a rotating captain. Went to college. Nobody made me go to college. I wanted to go to college. I come from a community where people are scared to let their children go. I don't want my baby all the way up there by themselves. You know? That way. I come from one of those communities. And that's hence the worry. Nothing bad happened to you in growth zones. Yes, bad things coincidentally happen to people sometimes. College though, where there's room and board and tutors and a speaking lab and a writing lab and entrepreneurship incubators. Ain't nothing gonna happen to your baby up there. <laughs> They're going to the right place. Your baby need to get out of that environment where they're killing people, murdering people, robbing people, having people be co-defendants in situations they got no business being in. Your baby need to get out of that environment. And I'm speaking to somebody on that. Take it from me. I don't been to a big Southern football, known college, Southern Mississippi, good school. That's why I got introduced to everything I just told you. Besides the economic, you know, the entrepreneurship incubator. I know there's this. I didn't have no ideas yet. I, I knew that was in me. I connected with, you know, little Scythe, little students involved in free enterprise toward the end. You know, at least the language got started. All the other stuff, I was involved in. Speaking lab, writing lab, tutoring, all that. Woman board, I ate good. Some people say they can't stand college food. I like food. I was good. I'm good. But I'm just telling you, your baby gonna be okay. That's what they need to be. Not at home, becoming a parent too early. They don't need that. They don't need that. They come from peer pressure. They come from time, idle hands, idle time. They don't, need, they don't need that. I'm not making fun. I come from a whole lot of teen mother situations. I really do. I come from that. It was all around me. I ain't making fun, but it's the fathers. I'm a man here. You understand? Your child don't need to be strapped with child support and multiple child support and the hangups of that. Your baby need to be up the road in college or somewhere productive in life. They need to be. Some communities they they don't need some. They don't need to be at home. They need sometimes they need to go. They need to go. And I'm not I'm not condoning this whole 
hate your child and you got to go and have no family ties at 18 or whatever. No, I'm a loving person. When I have children, they're my babies for life. But if they ain't anything like me, they're going to want something for themselves. So it's never a word that they're going to live with me forever. They can't do for themselves. No, what are you worrying about that for? Everybody wants something. You just got to listen to them. You got to listen to them, guys. You just got to listen to them. Child tell you they intense early. They purpose early. They really do. So you got to just test this thing out with them. They might, they might be a pianist. They might be a soccer player, a football player, a race car driver, an astronaut, a football player. They might be a meteorologist, a dentist, a chiropractor, doctor, whatever. You need to listen to them. You know, think about how much you make and what you have and where you come from. Go all in on that. Go all in on that. Trust me. That's where it is. That's where it is. All that settling for a life that's beneath us got to stop. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. Like I said, where I was. And all this just flow with me. Credit repair company, self lender. They can open up that lane. You got two types of credit. That's an installment loan. You got installment and revolving. Revolving is a credit card. Installment's a loan. self lender is a loan. So when you pay that loan up, when I paid that loan up, they paid me my money. They put it in the CD. So it's actually a savings account. They're giving you a CD, certificate of deposit, a certain amount, annual percentage yield. So when you pay it up, guess what? For paying it up, they gave you the money right back. What a company. They gave me the money right back. So I'm on my second one. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that money. I'm going to roll it into my next project, whatever it may be. Time will reveal. It could be another debt payoff. It could be an investment. That's what I'm going to do with it. That's what I'm going to do with it. And like I say, Discover card may be my one card in the world right now. I thought it was all over, and I was okay with that. The way, my track record at 34 years old, I'm like, I've been through too many of these. And it's not from shopping. It's just, fellas, I'm going to tell you this. There's a reason why girls got six figures on the list. Why the women got six figures on the list. You need to make some money. So don't let your cousin talk into that comfortable job. Come with that way we've always done it. Stand up to him. Say, no, no. I have done that already. I'm uh, good. Leave me alone. I'm not being immature. It just don't work. <laughs> Tell him. I do. Because I'm mad at me, too. You need to get mad. You need to hear. Like, it don't work for me. Might be for somebody. That don't work for me. It ain't that I'm too good for it. I'm talking about what works. I'm going to need that and to do other stuff. The person trying to sell it, drop what you're doing, shame what you're doing, and do that. No, I can't do it. It don't work. But anyway, it just don't work. That's why some people don't like me. They stay in touch with me. They don't like me, though. I know I seem like I'm real peace happy. <laughs> Secret friendly, peace happy. Do what everybody feel is okay, comfortable, positive. At the moment, but you know, I gotta I had to come find my charge wire, y'all. Now where was I? Oh yeah. So guys, you gotta learn to play about a half and the thirty percent. It's a secret that some people share. When you can get a loan to half or thirty percent, when you can get a credit card to half thirty percent, they see you now. And just the very experience with. With self lender last time, other lenders were willing to work with me. They were willing to work with me. They saw I had that account open. They didn't tell me why, but I realized I'm like, oh, all of a sudden I'm somebody to potentially to loan to. So I had to do it. It's a new bill, but it's a good new bill because I'm going to get the money back in the end anyway. So I had the link in the description of the video, and I just want to tell you how that was going. The fact that I got my credit repair company back, I got the self lender account, and I got one of my one credit cards back, you know? So it's not the bread, boasting flats, but I want to inspire somebody. And somebody probably going through the crazy stuff I told you, <laughs> just in reference to an example about life that I'm going through. So, hey, feel free to share this with three friends. I love you and I'm signing off. This will go out to Instagram TV, Facebook, and YouTube. And I bear a lot of truth. Like I said, if I stepped on some toes, Jesus is the healer. 
I still love you. I can be honorable and respectful to you, but you have no right to bring my life down to that. You just don't. You don't. That's the that's the issue. But as far as love, you're not canceled. I love you. I respect you. I just can't do it. I just can't. Sign it off, y'all. Learn that. Learn that. There's a way to be loving. You don't have to be just cutting people off. There's a way to be loving. They'll cut themselves off if they that bad. It's the truth. I love you guys. Peace.